just some human and hauling, where we're going to roll out of here. Um, we've got another site down the road, it's much higher ground. Water is just about to break the bank on the, well, I guess it would be the north end of the campground. And they keep raising the forecasted river stage level. Um, and it's going to crest at about 2 o'clock in the morning. So we don't want to be here to see what happens. Well, remember how I told you that we had 30 or 40 feet of uh, cushion at the new campsite? Well, and that I was happy that the bank on the other side only had 10 feet of cushion. So if it did come up, it was going over that bank long before it got to us. Well, that's exactly what happened in the middle of the night. And it's amazing how much water is coming down through this canyon. And the other side, it, it overtopped that bank and it's flooded out some low-lying farmland and properties on the other side of the river. Up river from us, uh, the gauge is already starting to come down. So we probably actually saw the peak of it about two hours ago, but I'm glad we moved. Now this campground is on the Verde River in Cottonwood, Arizona. The Verde is a tributary into the Salt River uh, that flows through Phoenix. It's actually the major tributary of the Salt River uh, that you may be familiar with in the Phoenix area. This river typically flows at about 300 cubic feet per second. But at the peak flood height, it was at about 25,000 cubic feet per second. So lots of lowland uh, minor flooding in the area. This area floods quite frequently. Uh, the last time it flooded like this was in 2019, to my understanding. Uh, but, uh, you know, pretty substantial flood water. This is the first time flying the drone over open water, so that was a little bit fun, of course a little bit scary, uh, but the drone did really well, and uh, except for the fact that it's really easy to lose in the sky, um, uh, it captured the scenes pretty well, I think. This is flying up to our campsites up on the bluff, where we are the third vehicle from the left, and... Uh, this is just a short walk away from where our campsite was. There was a little ramp that went down to the river and I was able to go down there and actually launch and, and retrieve the drone from there. This is a weeping willow on the lower bench prior to the flood, and this is it after. The uh, flooding removed all the ground cover over this riprap, uh, exposing all this riprap. Other damages, a lot of extensive uh, electrical damage on the lower levels, etc. The line of leaves there, that, that's how high the floodwaters came, and you can see how close that is to the RVs. A little too close for comfort.